Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is 3D Mesh Tutorials. I'm in Unity and I'm creating a bus simulator game. It, it, in this tutorial, I'm just uh, adjusting the collider at the, 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 the side of the bus. As you can see, the box collider has got the trigger. Okay, so that in, when the character uh, enters this um, collider, the trigger will automatically switch everything off. Um, it might work, make it inactive. All that items that you see there by the bus stop, especially the, the character will disappear. Okay, I'm still working on the animation for the character when it, when it enters the collider, then he enters the bus or just enters the bus straight away. Okay, so yeah, if you haven't watched the previous videos on this uh, bus simulator game I'm creating, you can go to my YouTube channel and you can check out all the videos okay i need to uh push it the robot aside here the robot is in the road actually anyway there's not a tutorial as you can see there guys it's a win-win yeah i picked up my first passenger okay as you can see there by the, the top of the tree i need to put a tree on a um i need to turn off the mesh collider i don't know why i put the mesh collider on the trees I'm just gonna remove the mesh collider, okay? But yeah, the guys, as you saw, you saw there that the character disappeared with all the items around the bus stop, um, indicating where you should pick up the character. Uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to um, let the character uh, indicate where, whether he's going to get on the bus or he's not gonna get on the bus, okay? So that's why you need to go to my YouTube channel and check out that video. Okay, I'm just going to adjust some items here in this uh, um, um, scene. Okay. Um, especially the trees, those two trees. I'm, I don't think this icon has a collider or a rigid body or anything that has some physics that uh, deals with the uh, items in the scene. As you can see there, there's the trees. It's two trees within one uh, um, empty. Okay. So I'm just going to tick off the mesh collider as you can see there. Okay, and I'm gonna have another run and see what happens. But I think it's the trees because why mesh collider is there so that um, physics can take place in your scene. Okay, if you want to use physics. So yeah, but um, the bus never drives on the curb. Not, not, f you know, not that I know of okay maybe when you that when you don't drive well but the bus don't drive on the curb so it's no use putting a mesh collider on the trees or or the light poles and all that stuff okay only stuff that will that you will interact with as you can see um, i'm duplicate i'm just duplicate this trees i don't think it's necessary but just for this video uh sake i'm gonna duplicate those trees right so let's see what happens i need to add some sound into this um, game also traffic okay the character is gonna go he's walking on a path i, I created a waypoint okay so that the character follows that waypoint and he's actually walking towards the bus stop he's circling around so if you're not there you're gonna miss him okay He's gonna spawn again. There's two pick colliders here. That's why I said to me, okay, we have a problem. They used to, you see the character just disappeared, magically disappeared. Okay, let's exit the scene and go back to Unity. I need to find out why that character just disappeared on me. Okay, I'm gonna delete those two trees. I think those trees, yeah, because they have a box collider, a mesh collider. They are, uh, um, they are also interacting with this character because I, I made a bunch of scripts for hiding and showing items so I think that is the problem so let me just yeah delete I don't think I don't know why I copied those two trees and I moved it okay I want to keep this videos nice and short so that you guys can get enough information out of it okay I'm not gonna play around with other things right i'm showing you guys how to how to let um, the passengers get on your bus for now i'm just hiding the character but i'm gonna create a nice animation okay it's just a bunch of animations 
when the character comes to your door then he, he actually I'm gonna make him disappear and the other animation just walk him to the bus that animation gonna do in blender so uh, I'm gonna use a box you know put the whole same shape as the bus and just let the character walk inside of the bus and just sit down I'm not gonna see that happen so it's gonna be very funky I want some mirrors in the bus and also on the sides so I can see what's happening behind me and next to me but that is all in a different video I'm gonna do a bunch of videos that's why guys need to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet okay and ring that bell notification icon so I can notify you when I upload the next video on this Cayman uh, uh, creating this is a bus simulator going to city transport okay it's not gonna be for Android maybe I'm gonna see how big this game comes out to be okay Maybe I'm gonna put it on uh, WebGL and you know, PC, Mac and all of that awesome stuff. Okay, as you can see the collider is gone, so now my icon is good on the roof. I'm gonna leave that icon there, I think it's sexy. I like it. I don't know about you, but I'll make a button, a UI menu where you can put all of that stuff away. You don't have to render it in your scene if you don't want to. Okay, there's going to be a bunch of UIs that you can uh, uh, set up at the beginning of the game, at the option, menu options and all of that. But not for now. I'm just busy creating the most important things in the game, guys. When you create a game, don't concentrate on the graphics. Please concentrate on the mechanics of the game how the storyline works what is happening in the game okay you need to have like like a mechanic mechanics going on telling the character what to do where to go all of that so i'm busy with the bus stop because the main objective is to pick up passengers drop them at a certain point get some cash upgrade from a car it's gonna start off with an uber start off with a very very small car that is very slow and you are running on time limits so you need to drop that passengers otherwise you don't get money or you get less fee but uh, your car can also break down need to go to a garage need to fill up bus the same thing okay i'm just adjusting this box collider here at the, at the side okay anyway yeah back to the game uh, physics you need to make first work on your mechanics leave the surroundings i don't care how the surroundings look as long as there's a storyline an objective and a success at the end of the day okay congratulations you have won or you finished this level it is all about that is the what the game is all about graphic wise i don't care really about the graphics no use you have gorgeous graphics but you have nothing to do you're just running around on an open scene okay so i'm taking my time and i'm taking you also through it what i'm doing um, in my bus simulator game it's gonna be very basic this is a nice terrain i have here a city okay i generated from an app i'm gonna leave a link in the description i'm not gonna uh, pull up any names on my videos i'm not promoting any uh, companies and stuff like that okay you can if you are uh, interested in this uh, generator city generator you can go to my description box and you'll find a link and the name to this uh, uh, generator i used okay it's quite nice as you can see i have my city and i can work on the city it's already with uh, rigid bodies and uh, mesh renderers and box colliders so all you need to do you just need to import your own vehicles okay i'm gonna tweak uh, around on the cars on this terrain i think i can swap out the, the skin masses to maybe some more uh, sophisticated vehicles more latest modern vehicles also the buildings i'm gonna work on the city guys this is just a prototype okay i'm also gonna shift around in levels so i need to upgrade um i need to also create my own bus terminus um and pick up points okay i don't want this bus stops it's very small it doesn't look grand but for for this uh, uh, early edition guys which i'm going to upload to the internet that you guys can download and test it out okay and um, that's why i said i'm gonna make it webgl also 
so that you can play it online for those people that don't have a PC, that don't have a mobile phone. But in the future, I hope, I hope I can break this graphics down so much that it can uh, go to Play Store and you guys can play it on your cell phones. Okay, I don't want to make a high, a high uh, uh, density graphic game and then you guys are unable to download it because why it's very expensive um, to, uh, on the, uh, the device you will, you will be using on that uh, um, software on that app and also um, the size of the game will be very huge especially when you add too much graphics you know the texture maps and all of that stuff is big i'm talking about 4k 8k some people go to 16k i don't know if there's a 16k but if there is i'm right anyway i'm now adding my icon to the character as you can see i want this icon to go up and down indicating that this character is active he's active and he's gonna go for a bus stop as if he's green he's gonna go for a bus stop it must go like that up and down up and down i'm gonna create that animation okay i'm gonna show you guys how to create that animation um, when it's green it means he's gonna go for a bus stop and you can reach that bus stop before him you will get into your bus and you can make money because there's more uh, uh, buses on this trail that picks up characters they also have i'm gonna put them on the same trail i'm driving guys i promise you it's gonna be your, the same company you are most now tendering okay this is your own bus you work for it is gonna be nice buses i'm gonna make nice buses which you can buy from a garage and stuff like that but for now you're gonna drive with this bus this kadong drive around pick up you need to pick up a lot of passengers to gain money a lot of money quickly so you can grow buy a nice bus faster bus with nice uh, nice uh, steering handling and stuff like that it can take also more passengers because at the moment i'm gonna make this bus take uh, say up at least nine to ten passengers that is very very little money and they're gonna pay you under the belt because it's not a nice bus it's not nice the accommodation isn't so nice anyway but you are in business you are in business don't worry about that so this icon is going to indicate whether this character that is patrolling is going for a bus stop whether he is wherever he can be wherever i promise you he can be at the other side of this building but he's going for a bus stop so you can wait for him what happened now? What just happened? Uh, request team license. Okay, guys, I think I just crashed, but I did make a backup of this. I'm gonna come back with this tutorial, guys. Um, the, the last thing I wanted to tell you is yes, please subscribe to my channel, smack that like button if this video was helpful so far, and if you like this video and ring that notification bell icon so that I can notify you when I upload the next part of this video. My name is 3 ms Tutorials, I was in Unity, I just crashed and I'll see you in the next video, okay?